Galatians chapter 3, verse 1. Again, this people about part number four of my series I'm dealing with, my friend. And Paul said, O foolish Galatian, who have bewitched you? They should not obey the truth. Before who I, Jesus Christ, have been evidently set forth crucified among you. This only will I learn of you, receive the Spirit by the works of the law or by the hearing of faith. Are you so foolish? Have begun in the Spirit and now made perfect by the flesh. Have you suffered so, so many things in vain? If it is yet in vain, he therefore that ministered to you unto the Spirit and worketh miracle among you, doth he it by the work of the law or by the hearing of faith. My message today is, how do you know that you are under spell? Glory to God. What I say, how do you know that you are under a spell? To be under a spell is like you being programmed. You are in trance. You're under you're under a, you're under control by a, a deity or a force. Now Paul say, how can y'all be how can y'all start out in the spirit and end up in the flesh? So Paul was dealing with people that activity was carnal. Because Paul wouldn't say that who have bewitched you. So how do you know that you are under a spell and how to break the spell? Hear me, please hear me. Because I want to help people that are under spell. You're under control by your fleshly ad, ad, desires. So how do you know you're, you're on a spell? You know you're on spell because Paul say you begin in the spirit, but now you're working in the flesh. So it's fleshly activity more than spiritual activity. There are people, my friend, they are in the flesh more than in the spirit. How can you be in the flesh? In the flesh, by everything is carnal. Amen. And the reason why you're under you're under the flesh because you don't read the Bible. You don't study the Bible. You don't live by the Bible. You don't practice the Bible. According to God, amen. And by you letting the, this flesh dominate your life, my friend, you become a carnal Christian. Amen. So called Paul said, who have bewitched you? He said, who have controlled you? Who have dominated your life? He said, you have begun in the spirit. Now you're working in the flesh. According to God. So my message today is to somebody out there, my friend, who controlling you? <laughs> Glory to God. What I say, who is dominating your life? Is the flesh or is it the spirit? Hallelujah. Because my friend, when you're in the flesh, you're gonna die. I know we're gonna I know we're gonna die. I know we're gonna die. Somebody said we all gonna die. Yes, we all gonna die. But guess what? We all ain't going to the same place. Hey, glory to God. We are not going the same place. On my right, my friend, I'm telling you, we're going to end up. If you are if you are not a Christian, amen, hallelujah, if you are not a believer of Jesus Christ, hell going to be your home. Hey, glory to God. Come on now. And the Bible says, my friend, be not deceived. God is not mocked. Whatsoever man sow, so shall the reap. If you sow to the flesh, if you sow to the flesh, you're going to die. Hey, glory to God. You're going to die spiritually. Hey, you're going to die carnally. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. And when a person dies spiritually, that means that they don't let the spirit rule and regulate them. Because the Bible says, my friend, hallelujah, carnality, con, listen, car, the carnal mind cannot understand the can't understand the things of the spirit because they are spiritual discern. So when you are a spiritual person, you think the things of spirituality. When you're a carnal man, you think the things of carnal. Hallelujah to God. That's why I tell people, if you are a Christian, hallelujah, the devil, the devil can't make you, can't make you do things that you don't want to do. 
hallelujah, glory to God. And the only way you do things is because you listen too much of the flesh. The flesh tells you to do this. You say, okay, flesh. Hallelujah. But when you have God, my friend, huh? when God when God speaks to you, you know when it, you know the difference between God's voice and the devil's voice. So how do you know you're not spell? You are controlled. You, you are yes man. You are yes sir. I'm not a yes man or yes sir. Hallelujah. If, the Bible says, if if you if if you listen, listen very carefully. The Bible says, my friend, if you are a person that please people. You are not a servant of Christ. And there are a lot of people that please people rather than pleasing God. That's why I tell, that's why I say that are you in control? Hallelujah. Who controlling you? My friend, should no, should no man force you to have sex and you know you don't have sex? Should no person tell you to go this place and you know deep down you won't go this place? Amen. Why? Because this is not, if you're in America, America is a is a place that we are not under a dictator. Hey, glory to God. That's why I tell people, my friend, if your church tell you to do things that, that's not scriptural, don't do it. You should have to go to your pastor and tell your pastor it's all right for me to do this and that. You're under you're under God. Amen. And if your pastor doing things that you that's not scriptural, my friend, you ought to get out of that church. Run! So who controlling you? Hallelujah. If you are not spelled, it's time for you to be free. Because God made us free. The Bible said, and you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. I used to go to this church, my friend, and the pastor, how did he dominate people? Intimidate people? For what? Tithes? <laughs> he said, you're cursed with a curse. If you don't pay tithes, you can't sing on the choir. If you don't pay tithes, you can't be an usher. And if you don't pay tithes, you can't preach. Hey, glory to God. My friend, who controlling you? Hey, glory to God. And the reason I'm making this message, my friend, because a lot of, there are a lot of people that call themselves Christian, you're under control by another deity that's not God. But how you break the spirit? I'm so glad you asked. You break the spirit by coming to realization that the word of God, it comes to make you free. Jesus Christ said, and ye shall know the truth. Hear me, please hear me. And the truth shall make you free. The truth give you liberation. The sons have made you free. You are free indeed. Stand fast in the liberty where Christ has made you free. And be entangled again with the yoke of bondage. So if you want to be free, get out of the yoke of bondage. That's why I tell Christian, you should not be listening to secular music. You should not be listening to jazz. I said it. You should not be listening to no jazz. You should not be listening to Rihanna. You should not be listening to you know, Chris Brown. You should not be listening to Justin Bieber. Ah, glory to God. You should not be listening, my friend, to, to, to Dougie, whatever his name is. Hallelujah. You should not be listening to Tupac. You should not be listening to Purple Rain, Purple Rain. The rain no, is not purple. The rain is colorless. Hallelujah. Should not be listening to Michael Jackson. Why, preacher? Because these things put you under bondage. It raises your flesh. It makes you become horny. It makes you think about your old girlfriend, your old boyfriend. Hallelujah. How? How you know that you are in this? In How you know you are controlled? You are controlled by you letting your flesh give you more mess. And you're perplexed. Because you're twisted by the flesh. Glory to God. Hey Amen. I'm trying to help somebody out there. If you're watching Life Journey, Glory to God International, I'm telling you how to let the spiritual man manifest more in your life. You let the spiritual man manifest more in your life by you staying in the Word of God. Let the Word of God lead you and guide you into all truth. Ha, ba, 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 ba. Glory to God. Hear me, people of God. Hear me. If you want to be spiritual, stay away from, from carnal people. When I say carnal now, I'm talking about any time you run a person, you become horny. Every time you, you run a person, you can become high-minded. Any time you run a person, my friend, you are thinking, glory to God, about self. It's about God. It's about Jesus. It's about the spirit man. 
So I'm telling you how, how to break the, the spell in your life. You break the spell in life by, by letting the word of God regulate your life. The word of God is spirit and they are life. Do I say the word of God is spirit and they are life. So if you want life, stay in the word of God. Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth, and life. No man come to the Father but by me. You want spirit? You want life? Stay in the word of God. Look, let's talk. A person that does not read the Bible, a person that has no time for the Bible, the flesh going to regularly dominate your life. Why? Because you're not letting this. The Bible is a book of spirits. Well, I say the Bible is a book of spirit, and if you want, if you want to knock those evil spirits of your life, go in the book of Psalms, go in the book of John. Get to know God. You get to know God through the Scripture. You get to know God on your knees or praying. You get to know, know God by staying His presence. With His prison, Lord, they're full of joy at Thy right hand. Thy pleasure forevermore. Amen. So I'm telling you, my, there's somebody controlling you. And you should know who that person is. It's Satan. Satan sent his demons out to control you. My friend, you should not be under bondage. You should not be under slavery. You should not be under control by another deity but God. And God is not a tyrant. God is a dictator. He said, whosoever will, let him come. So why are people under control? Because they're not in the word of God. You, 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 you under control, you want to spend time with God. You want to spend time with God? How do you spend time with God, preacher? You spend God, time with God by studying the word of God. The Bible says, study to show that they have approved unto God. A workman in never shape, rightly divided the word of God. Such a scripture, and they think he, he, he have eternal life, for they testify about me. So you want to spend more time with God? Spend time with God by spending time in prayer. Lord, teach us how to pray. Our Father, which is a relationship. Y'all need a relationship with God. Amen. So how do you know that you are under a control? Anytime you let the flesh dominate your life. Paul said, when I preach the other, I make myself a castaway. Paul said, oh, wretched man of there, who shall deliver me from this body of this death? When I do eat good, evil, always present. But I'm not going to stop doing good because evil, the devil going to be there. So I'm telling you, my friend. You break the spell by staying in the word of God. Amen. Glory to God. Wake up, church, and let's go home. Amen. Amen.